been a bit of a drizzly day today. Robin, you, you expecting many visitors? Well, yes. Um, today, yes, because uh, now I was going underground to start working, uh, reopening the, uh, the coal mine. Uh, but with one guide on today, because it's wet, we might have a lot of visitors in. Now, when the sun's shining, we don't see many visitors because they're all walking around the woods or riding their bicycles around the woods. But if it's wet, same as all the campers and caravanners that come into the forest today, if it's wet, they will come down here and go underground because uh, it could get out of the rain then. So on a bad day, we do get more visitors. Do you remember the first time you went underground to, to work? Yes, I do. That was uh, with my two brothers. They bought a mine, which is uh, up in Cinderford, which is now called Springfield Drive. There's a housing site there now. And I can always remember, I was going to school, I was 13 years of age, and that's the first mine that ever I went down. My two brothers sunk a shaft 100 foot deep, and they used to drop me down there in a 40-gallon drum with two hooks in the side on a hand winch. Now, this was, uh, to me, it was a new experience, and I was fascinated with it right at that age. And I did not go to school very often. I lost a lot of school time. And when they were dropping me down the shaft, I thought, this is lovely. This is better than going to school. I was working at Northern United Colliery, actually, at 14 years of age and uh, the first job I had was on the screens and I was in there for a few months and then they sent me down then to Canop Colliery to do my training. That training was a complete waste of time. I never learned nothing all the time I was down there. All we was doing biggest part of the time was playing kites. I never got one ounce of coal, never put up one roof support but I did enjoy it for the simple reason uh, every Thursday they used to take us to a, one of the deep mines. And at that time, there were six deep mines running. And the one that I was really afraid of going down was Waterloo Colliery. I knew there was no bottom in the pit. Now, when I said there was no bottom in the pit, uh, there was about a 30, 40 foot of water, a sump, to drop straight, straight into. And uh, they used to drop us down there with a steam engine, which was a steam winch. And they used to drop you down there just like a stone. It used to frighten me that did. I've been involved with mines all my life. I have done different work. Uh, I've had to to survive. I brought up a big family. And of course, back in those days, I hadn't got any money to buy any modern machinery with, uh, which most of the small, miner, uh, small mines never had any modern machinery. Just a few, like, you know. And uh, I did have to do other jobs to survive. But I have always been involved with mining. And even when I wasn't working in the mines, I always had one that I used to go there part-time, weekends and things like that. Or if there was days that I never had any work on, because I'd been self-employed for a long time, I did used to go back and work in the mines.